Libraries should focus on improving their technological resources rather than building a large collection of paper books. To what extent do you agree or disagree? This is a question uh, we are going to discuss. There is a statement part in the question and the statement part says, libraries should focus on improving their technological resources rather than building a large collection of paper books. So if you have, uh, instead of building a large collection of paper books in racks, in shelves, libraries today, they need to improve their technological resources to to which extent do you agree or disagree? You can say the Likert scale here. I can tell you what exactly is a Likert scale. Likert scale is like this. So you can agree, you can disagree. So agree is this point, disagree is this point. You can go to this extent you can go to this extent, you can mark any of these positions. So I can, I marked it here, exactly at the middle, because I said it, it's needed. At the same time, I said that um, a large collection of paper books it is necessary. So I went with the 50 50 in the Likert scale. You can mark anywhere in the Likert scale. So that's your opinion. So you, you can mark your opinion anywhere here. You can mark to a complete extent, full extent, agree, a full extent, disagree, agree to a greater extent, disagree to a greater extent. You can mark it. But however, my thesis is even uh, although it is highly recommended move, I still feel that the other option has its sound relevance. The other option is a large collection of paper books. It still has its own relevance there. Now, part number one. This is part number one. Libraries should focus on their technological resources than building a large collection of paper books. It's rephrased here. So one thing you have to notice is that in, in the question, the statement is just presented, but when you copy the statement part to the introduction part, you have to add something here. It is suggested that this particular thing shows that this is not your opinion. So this distinguishes the matter. So what is your opinion? Your opinion is here. If you present it as if you copy the prompt as it is from the question, naturally it becomes your own opinion. And there is no relevance in writing another opinion there. So instead of avoiding this particular thing, what I suggest is that you need to distinguish the sentences your opinion should be kept differently. It should, kept, it should be kept separately. <clears throat> For that, I need to say something else there in the beginning. It is argued that, it is considered that, it is generally believed that, it's a common belief that, it is said that, it is opined that, now here it is suggested that. A different phrases to show that that's not your opinion. That's not my opinion. It is suggested, it is argued, it is believed. 
it is recommended. So these types of phrases will help you distinguish your opinion and the statement. The statement is separate now and the thesis is separate now. Although it is highly recommended move, I still feel that the other option has its own relevance. So I, in the Likert scale, I made it around, this is my position. So I need, if this is my position, I need to frame two paragraphs, one part and the other part. So if I am marking somewhere here, so this is the major portion there, 70 percentage. So those 70 percentage will be coming here as paragraph number one, two, and this 30 percentage will come here as paragraph number three. So it is based on your thesis, you need to frame the paragraphs which are coming. <coughs> so I made it 50-50, so I divided the body paragraph half there and half here. But if I am framing in a different way, that is uh, a 70 percentage, I disagree then i be moving ahead with more number of paragraphs here. So first two paragraphs will be disagree if I disagree. And there is a third paragraph. The same thing happens when you completely agree. So I completely agree to this. When I completely agree, that is 100 percentage agreement, Again, I'll be framing three paragraphs. First paragraph agree, second paragraph agree, third paragraph agree. So equally three paragraphs there. You can completely agree, you can completely disagree, you can agree to a greater extent. So it is, well, all of these things will be having different frameworks. So the framework of the essay, it, depends on your thesis, your opinion. So this is what you have to say. You need to understand the framework of the essay, the format of the essay is totally dependent on the way which you think that is. The way the, the, the thesis, it, it depends on the thesis. Okay, now I move ahead. So the introduction is very clear here. So the introduction shows that there are, there is a suggestion. This is the suggestion here. And this is a highly recommended move. Although this is a highly recommended move, I still feel other option has. So 50-50, this is my thesis here. So the first particular paragraph deals with the first particular view. What is the first particular view? Libraries should focus on improving the technological resources. Yeah. So it started like this, the primary reason. <coughs> The primary reason for what? The primary reason why I suggest, so it is my personal opinion, why I suggest uh, it's very clear now, I use my personal pronoun I, suggestion of me, my suggestion, in my opinion, in my view, so I became a little more direct, I, instead of in my view, in my personal perspective, to my mind, I can write in that way too. But here I became more clear, I suggest personal pronoun. Each library should improve its technological resources is because this can serve its customers in a better way. So this is the point there. 
it can serve its customers in a better way. What is the primary reason? It is connected there. Okay, so for example, when a digital touch screen is there to sort out what types of books are available and how these books are available. So we have used brackets there. So brackets, whatever is said in the brackets are not counted in the word. The word count, it is not counted. It saves the invaluable time of the library user. This is the benefit there. Many who access a library uh, are research students or scholars and dig digital access to the library services help them in a great way to know about the issue or date, due date of return of books. The issue and due date of return of books, they can understand it easily. So all these said uh, are the benefits there in, in, in form of examples. So the explanation is given in form of examples there. That's it. It can serve its customers a better way. In short, that is the conclusion of the paragraph. One can say when more such facilities are added, if more technological facilities, digital services are available, libraries can be more customer friendly. So it can serve its customers in a better way. So that's it. So whatever I try to prove in the beginning, so it is concluded. So uh, in the middle, I have got some explanations and examples there. That's the content of this thing. We have not said anything serious there. No bizarre words there. No complex presentation here. Very simple presentation, but it is presented in a standard form. It is understandable to a standard reader of English. This is the way you need to present instead of presenting complex words, vocabulary, complex phrases, which make the examiner confused. You have to use standard vocabulary to present yourself. Why? It is because the, 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 the more complex presentation, if you are presenting it in a more complex way, you will definitely make mistakes because we are not language wizards. You will definitely make mistakes because you are not the native English speaker. As far as you are not the native English user, the ideas you have in your mother tongue will be automatically translated there. So even you have, even if you have a 10 years or 15 years experience in using English, you'll be facing problems in presenting it complex. So I don't recommend complex presentation. I recommend standard presentation, not the basic presentation. A standard presentation is highly recommended. Your objective is to make the reader interesting. How? Oh, yeah, it's an interesting presentation. It's a standard presentation. So it is well explained. It is very clear. This is what we need to understand. Instead of making it complex, using commas, punctuations, using uh, some of the connectives. We are focusing on the connectives. Okay, moreover, however, nevertheless, all these things I have in mind and I'm trying to um, push all these words inside this. It's, it should come naturally in particular situations. You please don't force this vocabulary into the essay. It should come naturally. If you are pushing it, it can be identified easily and this can affect your score negatively. Now, I'm moving ahead with the second paragraph. However, the other view, when there is not enough collection of paper books, it, it questions the integrity of a library. So the integrity of the library is questioned there. 
So what is the essence of a library if there are not enough books there? To be precise, the traditional appearance and function of a library are still intact in the minds of people. And this is not expected to change soon. So it's not going to um, change soon. The traditional appearance, the traditional functions of a library is not expected to change soon. Moreover, there are a considerable proportion of people who do not feel comfortable with reading books online as they have physical problems like headache, vision problems, lack of concentration, distractions, all these things there. Furthermore, many books are not converted to digital forms yet. You don't have many books online. Many of the books are not converted online in, in, into digital form. You won't be getting all these things. Very few, very few. If, you are, if I go with the collection of books, around 20 to 25 percentage, not even 20 to 25 percentage of the books which are written is converted to digital form. Very less, minor, minor proportion of uh, digital books are available online. Therefore, it is the responsibility of each library to maintain enough number of books, at least for the purpose of reference. You please don't keep books for issue, around 100 books for issue. Please don't do that. At least for reference purpose, students are coming, scholars are coming for research purpose. They'll be taking this book and they'll be referring to it and they'll be keeping it back. For at least a reference, you please keep this thing. You please don't concentrate in uh, um, issue well of books, thousand books, two thousand books issued, making money now. You, you, you please don't concentrate in that. Please concentrate in, uh, at least for the purpose of reference, you should have paper books there. To conclude, yes. You can see such words coming naturally as, uh, however, moreover, to be precise, furthermore, therefore, can see such words are naturally presented there. It is not purposefully presented there. Okay, these are the thing. So however, the sense it is opposite to this paragraph. Now I have conclusion. To conclude, albeit the advancement, even though the advancements in technological aspects are highly recommended for the effective functioning of library today. So it is highly recommended. It's highly recommended to, to have technological advancements. I recommend there should be enough number of paper books in a library for its smooth functioning. So, it is highly recommended. Technological advancements are highly recommended. Even though it is a fact, I recommend there should be enough number of paper books in library for its smooth functioning. That's it. Um, so from the very beginning uh, till the end, I think that most of the areas uh, were explained uh, in detail. It's an opinion type of question. The opinion is asked. The opinion is presented in the introduction. The same opinion is presented, restated in the conclusion. So you, you can see uh, in the introduction, last part of the introduction and in the conclusion, you can see your opinion. Your opinion is in a more complete form in the conclusion. And when you read the conclusion, you can directly relate it, relate it to the question. So 
in one way i can say your conclusion is the answer the complete answer for the question it is concise it is brief and this is what is the main thing so it's not the introduction it is the conclusion we need to concentrate on so the conclusion whether it, whether the conclusion is expanded in the body paragraph this is my second thing yes the conclusion is expanded the conclusion is um, described it's explained in the body paragraph number 1 and 2 so this is my second criteria yes done now whether the essay is introduced properly in the beginning yes it is introduced properly yes what is said what is uh, there coming in the paragraphs it is said in the introduction itself so in every way i can say the essay is complete it is related your task response is good your cohesion and coherence is good your lexical resource is good and you do have a good grammar grammatical range and accuracy here so you are expected to score better here